the continual chasing after money affects our lives. Right, that's the simple bit of the story. Now, it gets more complicated, because I have to do a bit of acting myself. <laughs> when I put the shades on, I'm Mr. Big. When I take them off, I'm someone else. My disenchantment with the subsidy situation in England is that the subsidy doesn't go to the majority of people that we play to. Mr. Big, someone else. Got it? We couldn't get funding from uh, the Arts Council or Northern Arts because basically they don't want to fund theatre for working class audiences. So we still have problems. All right, everyone. Mr. Big, someone else. Quite simple. Now. We don't know whether we're going to survive. Uh, as a company, I mean, I think uh, there, there are always, always possibities of doing uh, one man, two, two man shows. Uh, I don't think it will ever disappear. Once we get the theatre open in the building, uh, then, then we can do anything we like, because I, I think that uh, there will be enough money coming in uh, from the bars and the cafes, uh, the market space and that sort of thing, to, to run a small company. Now, whether that will be uh, on a permanent basis, uh, I don't know at this point in time, if we don't get revenue funding. You broke my heart when you said we part ain't that a shame My teeth been like rain You said we part. 